We're in the fifth week of harvest. We're just about done with all the Pinot Noir from our vineyards down in Royal Seco. Soaking up all the Livermore's all in. In Livermore, we're about halfway through the Chardonnay. And the last two days, or two days last week, we got a little bit of rain that came through. And there's a lot of questions out there about how's that impacting the crop and what do things look like. Chardonnay, it traditionally doesn't do too well with rain, but we're seeing numbers of 23 and a half, pushing towards that 24 sugar number. So these grapes are really ready to pick. So we're going out there and getting a lot of the Chardonnay off in Livermore, getting those into barrel for barrel fermentation, and also down in Royal Seco. Zinfandel, it's all already off. That doesn't do too well with rain. Petite Syrah, we have a little bit of fruit out there, but that doesn't hold too well either, so we're keeping a close eye on that. The Cabernet, the Bare Bow, they all look beautiful. The Petit Verdots look beautiful. Those thick skin Bordeaux grapes do really well in the rain. There's no problems for us. A thinner skin Chardonnay, Zinfandel, Tempranillo, you really got to keep your eye on. So the rain throws you a little bit of curveball in the middle of harvest, but you always just got to deal with it. And my senior vineyard manager here in the Livermore Valley has up on his wall that Mother Nature always bats last. So you got to work with Mother Nature and try and grow great flavors to make some great wines.